What's up guys? Today we're playing some Lantern, Tron, and Modern. This is a deck that I've always wanted to try. We love Tron on this channel, and we love Lantern, so why not combine the two, right? For our land base, we have Academy Ruins. This is fantastic because we're able to mill ourselves and then kind of get back anything milled. Just kind of cycle through our deck. We never lose the mill if we can just kind of keep bringing back the same card at upkeep every single time. And we can get back anything that's countered, really good against counter decks. We have two Inventor's Fair, good against Burn, we get to gain life. And then if we get enough Tron mana, we can search for any kind of missing piece to the combo. Because we're running Tron, we're going to get that pretty, pretty easily. Because we need four to activate, which if we're not playing Tron, it's a lot harder to do. We have two Island, this helps with Field of Ruin and helps activate Skite without having to lose life. One Microsynth Gardens, this copy any one of our artifacts. So if we're afraid of them killing our bridge, we copy bridge, so now they have to do it twice, which is always nice. Notably, and I've done this before, you cannot copy Pithing Needle. So don't do that. Don't make the same mistake I did. If you do that, it just becomes a Pithing Needle with no name on it. Then we have our Tron lands, and we also have a set of Urza Saga, which is the best land in the deck for the most part. It makes constructs. It lets us search up our missing uh, lock pieces. And it's just like an extra threat. For the Lantern part, we have our four Shredder, four Lanterns, typical four maps, good for getting Tron. And then our kind of flex spots, other like lock pieces, we have one Pithing Needle, one Underworld Cookbook for like burn, kind of, if we have kind of a lot of fat cards in hand, we can discard them to get under bridge. They make food tokens so that you can uh, gain life against burn, and they also grow your constructs. So that's, Underworld Cookbook is like fantastic in this deck. Very underrated card. We have one Relic of Progenitus, obviously good against graveyard decks. You don't necessarily want to activate it if you're trying to get back things with Academy Ruins, but it's good against Living End and Murktide and stuff like that. We have one Spyglass, which is just a more expensive Pithy Needle, but let's just look at our hand. This deck really folds to Planeswalkers, so Teferi, Ren and Six. We don't really have much interaction in that regard. Pithy Needle and Sorcerer Spyglass also shuts off with Seiju, which is very, very popular now. And Viseju just wrecks us. So like Ren, Viseju lock, kills Tron lands, kills our artifacts, and we can't do any. To help protect against that, we have four Spell Skite, so we can redirect any of those hate cards and hopefully kind of stem the bleeding while we rebuild. I'm running two Dismember. Scam has been pretty popular, and if they just like turn one Fury and Undying Fury, we're just like kind of screwed. They're just going to hit at least twice before we get to do anything. We have three Ensnaring Bridge, which is one of the best cards in the deck. We hopefully empty our hand, get bridge down, and slowly, incrementally get card advantage with one ring and kind of lock them behind Lantern and Shredder. So because we're playing Tron, unlike the typical Lantern list, we get to play the other half of Prison Tron. So Karn the Great Creator and Mystic Forge, which lets us play our Tron lands, get a lot of mana, get these cards out, and just start churning through our deck. With Mystic Forge, we have so many one drops that we can just usually churn through like three, four, five cards at once. And then Conigate the Creator shuts off the one ring, which is obviously one of the most played cards right now, and lets us get any uh, silver bullets from our sideboard. And then lastly, we are a one ring deck because it is broken. Play the one ring, and if you can, play it before it gets banned. It's probably not going to, but it's just an absurd card. For the sideboard, we have... Tormod Script for Graveyards, Welding Jar for Protection, Pithing Needle we already talked about, Coding, which is great with Karn, shuts off lands, kills lands, shuts off planeswalkers, things like that. Silex, shuts off constructs, or not shuts off, just destroys constructs, destroys tokens. We have two Stone Brain for combo decks, another Insane Bridge for Karn to get, one Ring for Karn to get, Cityscape, just ETB, good against control matchups, and then we can unearth it. It's really hard to, to deal with. Talk about Portal later. We have Titan for four color, Kozlek for mill, and control matchups. Chalice for Cascade, Walking Ballista, just flexible. We're going to have a lot of mana. And then Possess Portal. This is the most fun way, like the most fun win con in this deck. So if you haven't seen this card, which I hadn't until I started playing this deck, if you would draw a card, you skip the draw instead. And then at the beginning of each end step, so yours and your opponent's, they either sacrifice a permanent or discard a card. At this point, you have to have Mystic Forge out. You have to have them locked. And then you play Possess Portal. So they're not drawing cards. They're discarding cards. They're sacrificing permanents. And you're playing cards off of the top of your deck with Mystic Forge. So that is the lock if you can get it. Otherwise, you're killing them with Constructs. Or you just have the Lantern lock. And you're just going to mill them out that way. So there's a couple different win cons. So you can pick your poison depending on like the matchup. But this is a pretty... Pretty difficult deck to play. You have to know the meta really well, and you have to know what's in your opponent's deck, 
what's in your deck, and kind of playing towards your outs. So that is Lantern Tron. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and let's get in the gameplay. Welcome to match one. We're on the play, and this hand is awful. We have one land and nothing, so we're going to have them all. <laughs> oh, God. One land again. Not a good start. We have two lands, a map. I'm going to play the Lanterns, because Lantern is, like, pretty awful on its own, and we're not doing anything... Like, if I had Shredder, maybe I'd keep something. But this is kind of like a turn one tower, turn two spyglass, see what they're working with, and then decide if we want to, if bridge is, like, super important or not. If this is Tron, bridge is going to be irrelevant, and then spyglass is going to be important. Is this hammer for the nth time? Wow, okay. We drew the power plant. That's pretty fantastic. So we're going to get the mine, and then we get the bridge spyglass next turn. Just doing Tron. See, this is the nice thing. We get to do lantern things and Tron things. Double planes. Suppression field? Jeez. All right, well, we have to activate in response, or it would cost two more and we'd be screwed. All right, so hopefully we get some, some sick draws here. Pixis is not a sick draw. Let's see what they have. Oh my god, no! That just shuts off our Urza saga. It's Solemnity combo? Jeez. All right, so we don't have any creatures, so that's... These two... Our creatures, Solemnity and Nine Lives. We don't care about this lock, to be honest. Blood Moon is just really annoying. What do we name in this matchup? I have no idea. White Red Enchantress. I think it's, no, I think it's just like mono white. It's mono white like Solemnity. Let me see if I can like actually find a list here. Like Solemnity combo. It's like just Solemnity. What do they have that we could, like the, the, the only downside to playing this deck is um if you're playing against like a jank deck you can't like meta them out oh man let me see uh oh dude this deck this deck destroys us with flicker wisp and stuff so i'm assuming it's like this maybe i mean they're playing they're playing like it's nine lives so i don't think let's see if we can do like no modern league yeah i have no idea what the heck they're I think it's just like, I don't think it's worth like fight, like thinking our heaven. I know, yeah, like they might have Sun Titan. I don't know, man. The frick do we name? I'm going to be like annoyed because we're going to name something and it's going to be like, um, I'm going to name Blast Zoom. <laughs> Abandon Hope, yeah. I mean, I guess we just play out everything. God, that's, that's pretty brutal that they have blood, they have the combo and stuff. So we're just going to have to draw into some stuff. Now I wish I had the Lantern. All right, pretty easy Blood Moon for them. And Snaring Bridge. I don't think we have a way of getting rid of of that, right? Nah, I don't think we do. I'm just gonna play this out just to get it out of my hand. And it's like, you could name like Blaster and they're gonna Blood Moon anyway. Okay, oh, field, okay. That's something to name. Demolition Field and Field of Ruin. So I heard you like bridges. Do you want this art, this art, or triple bridge against a non-creature deck? Fantastic. So what sucks is we took three minutes to look, try to find their deck, and we're just gonna like, I'm just gonna, uh, oh shoot, I can't even uh, activate map because the Suppression Field. That is troll. I need three mana to activate map. But I do want to make my land drop, so I'm definitely going to crack map. But we're definitely going to have to... The one thing is you have to pay attention to your clock here because we just wasted so much time doing this. And if this is just going to be a stalemate... But yeah, Blast Zone's also not a good name because with Solemnity... Well, yeah, they can't even put a counter on Blast Zone, so it would just be for zero. All right, the longer they take, the better for us. Play Adventures Fair and pass. So they have On Thin Ice, Nine Lives, and Ossification in hand, at least. And yeah, that's that's really helping us, actually. We have two lanterns at the bottom. All right, well, now we'll shuffle our stuff away. Um, I guess we just get an island for Spellscape. Well, we're not drawing very well, but we're just going to have to, like, F6 a lot. I don't want to pick this yet. I want to put, like, our good cards in the bottom. Jeez. All right, I mean, if anything, I'm going to just get all the lands out of our deck at this point. And I also want to crack this before they get, like, another Suppression Field. I guess just get another island. Shredder, okay. Oh, my God, dude. Suppression Field shuts off... <laughs> Oh man, Suppression Field taxes our milling. Oh, that's a great, I'm glad we got rid of that. That would have been fantastic for them. That's just a draw seven for them. Oh no. We're going to need like Karn and stuff like that. Damn, that's like a, this costs four to activate? That's insane. Who would have thought we queue into like Suppression Field decks and it just wrecks us? Maybe this isn't a Lantern game. Maybe it's a Karn game. 41 cards to go. <laughs> uh, okay. We have to pay four to activate that though. That's what sucks. We only have three mana. Have you run into some more random stuff like this since League split again? Uh, yeah, it's in this side. It's like janky. Oh no, they have they found another Valica. So now they're gonna draw seven here. I mean, they're slowly catching up on clock, so I don't mind. We have, let's figure out what we want to get with Karn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> we could get Cityscape and blow up Moon. I don't know. Oh no, Ossification. Oh crap, I forgot that. Uh. That sucks. I would have held this. For some reason, I thought this was only creatures. That's unfortunate. And then this is a dead draw. Yeah, I messed that up. 
So this costs six to activate. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna auto you always. I just don't want to lose the clock now because we took so much time initially. All right, they're tapping. No. Oh, I mean, they can't attack. So we don't care about the angels, at least. Creatures can't attack. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I might not even mill them just because, like, it's wasting so much time. I don't know. This is... I'm just going to pass. Let's see what they do. Solemnity. I'm just not milling them. I'm going to save time and... Unless I get, like, a lantern or something. Man, this is going to be... It's going to be a boring game, guys. Sorry. Just, like, prison versus prison. No! Wait, 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 wait. Approach of the second sun. Okay. Needle... Uh, do we, is there anything we can needle? We can't needle any, like, all these things are just... Alright, so we have to pay attention to their deck. So they drew one, so this will be two. So now they're on three on their turn. Jeez, these draws. Yeah, what sucks at oh, I'm so mad that we took three minutes to look this deck up, and now we're three minutes behind. This is three. Yeah, the Velikuts are just, like, good value here. <sighs> Man, I'm so mad that we played that card out, like, stupidly. Alright, so this is four. So it's three cards down. Oh, nice, okay. And I have to set upkeep stops. Another shredder. Um, if we were if we were better on time, right now, right now we're just like losing on time, which sucks. Like if these these suppression fields are hurting us a lot. We'll mill the immortal sun so they don't okay. And then we just mill this. Mystic Forge is good. Alright, pass. Yeah, we're just we're just down three minutes. But yeah, milling ourselves would be would be solid. Yeah, I'm down for Mystic Forge here. Oh my god, I can't even that's insane. Oh, I was typing. That's why. Yeah, just play land. The 12th land. Oh, dude, Cyclonic Rift would be sick. I know. Like, by the time we mill them out, I guess I guess we should start milling them a little bit because I guess we'll start milling them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, now we have to mill that because I don't, they can't have a friggin' fourth suppression field. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I'm just playing fast now. <laughs> Double the clock. Yes. All right, untap. Play the land. I guess we just pass. Like, I'm just going to use the mana to mill them. This would be so much easier in paper. Like, we win in paper. In paper, this game's over. All right, mill them twice. Another sigil. And just pass. Probably should have let them have the Immortal Sun, to be honest. Then they'd be drawing two. Yeah, we should have... That was stupid to mill the Immortal Sun. At least they're casting... Okay, cool. They're casting this stuff. But yeah, if, they, if we let them have the Immortal Sun, then they'd be drawing double and it would save us a lot of time. We're gonna have to win the next game in 13. All right. Mill, 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 mill. You're into this sort of thing? I mean, it's... It's interesting. They don't have an out. They're just trying to clock me. But because I have to actually do stuff and because of suppression field, it's making things a lot harder. Oh, overwhelming splendor. Turn off auto yields. Don't want them having overwhelming splendor. Okay, blood moon's fine. Has Boris enchantments up? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's like a uh, sun and moon type esque things. I mean, I like that they're casting casting these because they're it's taking up their own time. All right, mill, mill, mill. Oh, uh, mortal sun, nice. I mean, it doesn't mean they're gonna play it, but all right, we can play this. We're five five minutes behind. That's absurd. <sighs> But yeah, I mean, this is what you sign up for when you play Lantern. Like, like you'll get this in real life, too. People just won't concede at, like, your FNM. Oh, nice. They played it. All right. Mill, 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 mill. One, two, three, four, five, six. God, this this client sucks, too. Like, it's just lagging. But eight cards and pass. Like, I passed and my clock is still... It should tick back up to, like, 11 or something. Okay, yeah, see? And notably, if, like, we didn't care about what they drew, you could always shredder them with the, uh, the trigger on the stack, trying to process that all the angels wouldn't attack. Yeah. <sighs> All right, pass. We have three rings in Karnstall. Yeah, like we've we've seen like the lantern half of the deck. Settle the wreckage, main. Uh, mill, mill, mill. God, ten minutes. All right, that's zero cards. We did all the milling. It's gonna F six. Jeez. So unfortunately, we're down on clock. But yeah, we were. I know that sucks. I, like I didn't think it would get to that point. That doing that would kind of unfortunate. So against that deck, I don't even know. Um, I mean, the suppression fields were, were freaking terrible. Uh, just members can come out for like stone brains, I guess. Silex, maybe Silex is good. Thank you. Yeah, sticking with it. Yeah. Just like the main deck, demolition field, field of ruin, blood moon deck against our, yeah, they're hundred percent going to have stonies, but it's like, there's nothing we can do about that. Get Tron, get Karn, cityscape or something. This seems like a terrible matchup for us, but we're going to have to play super fast. We're five minutes down. We also mulled the five, too. Um, I mean, this sand doesn't do anything. I'm gonna mull just because Blood Moon. All right, keep. Turn three Tron. Ah, shit. All right, well, that's a good card to get. Yeah, this deck just destroys us. <laughs> we can't we can't target them with Shredder now. So we're definitely gonna have to go for the, uh, definitely going for the Tron line here. And I'm glad I wasn't playing Belcher against this deck. This deck would wreck me on Belcher. <sighs> Turn three Tron, but nothing to do with it. And they already have the Field of Rome. I'm just not gonna crack map them. Make them... Yes, this 
This deck is very rude indeed. They targeted the mine. So I guess we got another mine here. And then we have the island in hand. So unfortunately, it's not too, too crazy. Draw the one ring. Play spells, guy and pass. You probably should have played the saga, to be honest. We got to start making construct tokens. Rabble master. Yeah. Yeah, we probably should have played the saga. We can do that next turn with the one ring. Luckily, they don't have a lot of their uh, their taxing effects out. And now uh, we took out we took out um, Underworld Cookbook. So like I'm nervous to draw with the one ring and then we get like locked out. I should have took out bridges too. Why didn't I take out bridges? This deck feels so old. Yeah, this is like a... No, now they're going to demo our saga. Yeah, this is like the OG like Sun and Moon prison-y. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, No. They took out mine instead of saga, which is fine with us. Unless, what do they have now? Rossification. Okay. I mean, I guess bridge is nice now. And we don't take any damage at least. I guess we're going to have to be aggressive here and uh, just draw. Oh, just kidding. I hit, I hit stop and it didn't. Um, all right, well, hitting needle, name field of ruin, and I guess we'll just start making constructs. They, I wonder if they took out, oh no, immortal sun. Yeah, we should be drawing looking for bridge, I guess, to be honest, but let's see what happens. All right, they do get in with this. It's only a 3-3, three, three, but we get the block here. I'm going to draw too. Yeah, I think we desperately need a bridge here, but like the awkward thing is like we need Tron also. Um, we can make a construct. Oh, we do have cookbook actually. Hmm, getting Tron, like we could get map. I'm gonna get cookbook here. Play out saga. I'm just gonna play out, and we can we can pitch these to make our construct bigger. They do get to draw two cards a turn, which sucks. And Karn is isn't an out to this anymore, so we're on like construct plan, I guess. I don't know. Pixis also gets around a ley line, so we're gonna keep making constructs. Let's draw. All right, there's a map. I'll play map. Um, I will. Let's play Pixis. I mean not Pixis. Uh, Field of Ruin, which is named. Okay, so we have we're gonna have a bunch of constructs here. We only have five minutes. Like, we have to win this game or we just lose. All right, they make a 2-2. Two, two. This is going to be close. We do take three, seven. Yeah, this is... Yeah, I'm not sure how we're getting out of this, to be honest. This is just, like, a counter to our deck, which is crazy to think about. Uh, do we get Tron here? I think we make a Construct. Take three. Um, I guess we get a Mine here. Play Mine. <sighs> um, make a Construct. Uh, do we get him for one? So, I should have been, um... I should be playing Pixis and Shredder for ourselves, to be honest. We'll eat a food and they make another 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I feel like I'm just like frazzled at this point. Rest in peace. That does nothing. All right, so now they can't lose with life. So we can't activate Karn and we can't target them with because they have Leyline. We're kind of screwed. I don't know. Yeah, and we're, we're low on clock. So it's just, oh, we get unlimited constructs because of this. I mean, what does Inventor's Fair get us? We just have like no way of, no, we didn't bring anything in and Karn can't be activated. We have no way of getting rid of this. Yeah, I think we just lose. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, we're just going to scoop this. There's like, we can't win on time and there's just like unlucky, unfortunate. <sighs> yeah, the first deck we queue into just like hard counters our deck. The Solemnity, 8 field, suppression, luck. I guess knowing that they have Immortal Sun, we bring, we should bring in some stuff. They need exactly Leyline in the opener and they need just the one field of ruin to slow us down just a little bit. Like everything just kind of worked out in their favor. Yeah, the name Draco 1 sounds super familiar. I feel like they're in, like, Discord or something somewhere. But yeah, I think if, again, if it's in paper, we're faster, or things go faster in paper, and then we'd have time for a game three or something, you just scoop. This hand's just weird. I can't keep this. It's just, like, our lands are going to die and we're not going to have anything. All right, we'll keep turn three Tron. Put back that. This hand's obviously a lot better on the play versus draw, especially if they thought he's our map away, then we're just going to be sad. Please don't thought he's. I thought he's Island. Okay. So I guess this is that blue black deck again, which this feels like a terrible matchup. All right, we'll go power plant map. Cause they just have a lot of cheap counters, subtlety and stuff like that, which is like annoying. Okay, top bottom, top bottom. I'll right, we'll just play a mine and pass, I guess. We'll be able to get like empty our whole hand next turn, especially if they tap out. If they tap out and we get Mystic Forge going. All right, we'll get, oh, that's good. Let's start with Lantern. This is good bait before we get the, the good stuff out. And opponent's probably like, what the heck is this? We got the combo online. So now they're thinking like, do I want to counter this? No, they don't. So it sinks right now. We don't know if their hand is, they're, they're paying costs here. We don't know if their hand's land heavy or land. I'm assuming we're going to let them just draw a bunch of lands and not care. Are they going to counter spell skate after all this? No, they didn't. But yeah, I didn't want to play these into open mana like this. But I mean, they get to fetch this away to another land. All right, so they can draw the island. Okay, sure. Turn on their push. Force the negation. All right, so it looks like they have a lot of lands. Definitely milling force. See if they want to uh, draw into it, maybe. And again, notably, we're ahead on clock. So that's always something to be cognizant about. Land on top. That's fine. Play Inventor's Fair. 
So we do get to double spell. So we're going to bait with the one ring. I'd rather have Mystic Forge, especially if we draw Academy. Counter spell, yep. And they can't drown this. They could force it. Bowmasters, okay. We're fine with that. It's weird they'd uh, let the ring go and not like Bowmasters in response to that. So I guess we'll we'll just uh, let them draw all this stuff. Don't really care. Watery Grave. Dress Down does nothing? It's just a cycler. And we get to gain life, which is sweet. All right. Play Lantern off the top. Oh, nice. Let's play Spell Sky first. If they want to counter it before they start seeing what's on the top of our deck. Oh, okay. Bridge. I feel like they have to counter this, right? Because they're not going to have an answer to this if they don't counter this. It's just really awkward for them. But yeah, this is why we wanted to resolve Mystic Forge. Archmage Charm. Uh, Let's... Academy Ruins. Oh, that's a good one on top. So yeah, we can get Academy and just... Well, we don't have blue mana, I guess. So that's kind of awkward. Oh, the One Ring. Yeah, maybe we should have gotten Saga? Probably should have gotten Saga. Yeah, right, we'll block here. Mill them. They only have two cards in hand. I wonder if they're going to want to draw. Let's see what they do. Oh, Dress Down, though. I'll Lantern them. I guess the Dress Down is annoying in terms of, uh... All right, and they draw an Island. Blood Chief's Thirst. Definitely mill that. Lorien. Kind of annoying. We do get to draw the Karn, though. Let's see if this resolves. Another Archmage Charm. Wow. Uh, let's play a Life and get rid of Inventor's Fair here. And then they have one card in hand. Oh, good one. And a Needle. What do we Needle here? Do we just need a haul? Do we just get bridge? What's I guess we just get bridge. I don't know how they beat bridge, right? Get bridge. Um, I think we mill this because if they draw like Shieldred or something, that's kind of annoying. And then hopefully the top card's not Shieldred. Two minutes on clock. All right, it's a land. It's good. Um, and I'm trying to think with Karn, what do we want to get here? We're probably just going to get, we're going to get Possess Portal, I'd imagine. I think Possess Portal is just like the go-to card now. I mean, we could always needle like fetches and stuff, but they're already like heavily, heavily mounted up here. And I guess we don't even need a haul because they can't attack anyway. Yeah, their clock's just ticking down. All right, they untap. Draw their Misty. Subtlety, we don't care about that. Play their Misty. What's their last card, though? I hope they, like, play it. Hmm. All right, so against blue-black control. Let's see what, what they usually have here. The mirror control. They're going to bring in maybe Shieldred, Commandeer, Spell Pierce. Maybe... No, they're not going to bring in Chalice. Probably Spell Pierce and Shieldred. They'll take out Blood Chief's Thirst, Fatal Push... They don't really have anything that, like, kills artifacts besides, um, or just, like, Commandeer, Ottawara, Redirects. I don't think we do anything, to be honest. We could, because they're controlled, we could bring in just, like, Kozilek. What's Spyglass hit? I don't think Spyglass hits anything besides Ottawara. Maybe bring in these two and Relic's good. Take out Needle, too. Uh, actually, no, I'll take out Pixis. Keep Needle in just in case. Bring in just, like, the fatty cast cards. So once we get Tron, we can just cast big dudes. I guess we'll keep this on the uh, draw. Especially with them being like a Thoughtseize deck. We can kind of take our time, get some creatures in play. All right, they fetch a Watery Grave tapped. Dismember's good for Shieldred. Needle's good for Hall or Ottawara. Oh, Talisman. I guess let's let's just get stuff down while uh, they're tapped out. The only downside to this is we need to hit a land. Like if we waited to tap map, we could guarantee our land drop. Now we're going to be down one construct, which is kind of awkward. But we do get to resolve these two. No, that's awful. Spreading Seas? All right, well, I guess this list is running Spreading Seas. Jeez. I mean, I guess if they're not doing anything else. I don't even want to mill them because uh, because they have Merc Tide. Damn, yeah, we got blown out there. That's unfortunate. Play Pithing Needle. They crack appropriately. Yeah, like, what are they? The list is running Spreading Seas? Yeah, I can't find a list that's running Spreading Seas. Oh, they forced it? Holy crap. I was not expecting that. That's huge. That was just a throwaway card. They force pitch force. Holy crap. What what they what do they have? When will this league be out on YouTube? Uh hopefully in a few days. I use uh the, the editing program I use um has been like laggy and glitching and stuff, so it's been harder to edit, but definitely within this week. It's what's it, Wednesday now? I'll probably work on it tomorrow. Oh my god. But yeah, sometimes it, it takes a few days just because I have to yeah, just edit intro, outro, gameplay, and uh oh no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Turn of photo yields. Um I'm going to kill this now, even though like I'm going to take like I'm going to take more damage later anyway. Just can't believe we're getting screwed. Like like they're not doing anything. And we're just we just got greedy with that uh with that play here. Should have just guaranteed the land drop. No. <laughs> All right. If we don't draw a land here, I'll scoop four, five, six. Now nah, yeah, we're done because we could play spell sky. Then we don't guarantee land drop. Yeah. All right. We messed that one up. Let's try again. If we would have hit land drops, we would have been obviously way better. Yeah, it's just. Easy scoop. That's like half of the skill of playing magic is knowing when to quit. Unlike our round one opponent. I guess we saved dismembers for a shield and not. I mean, we were so far behind that we had to do that anyway. So be on the play. Man, these hands. 
One land, garbage. God, this is like pretty awful too. Turn one, lantern. Turn two, saga. Right? Like this hand is nothing. Do we get a five with this? I guess. I mean, sure. Um, do we put back the bridges? I don't know. I feel like bridges, the only way they win is through attacks and shieldred, but I'm going to play shredder first. I don't want them to have like information if they don't have a uh, fetch land. They might force this. I can't believe they, they forced that, that needle and it like still didn't matter because we didn't draw lands. All right. So I guess they're still going to get information. Play lantern. See if they force it. Yeah. So like such an aggressive thing, but I think it's like necessary for them. All right. They get that tapped. I would love to draw a lantern off the top. So. We're only on two cards because we had them all so aggressively. Sure, sure, sure. Sog is a good pickup. As long as we don't get spreading seas. They could always just like crack this and push this. They get an island. All right, all right. I'm going to have constructs online soon. They only have three cards in hand also. And no plays. Okay. Pixis is uh, not the greatest. We just need like a lantern effect, aka a lantern. I feel like they're going to have to read this one. So they need two removal spells for these constructs and we get a lantern with Saga. So if we can fade one spreading seas, we are good to go. And hopefully they don't just have like shield right off the top. Another Bowmasters. I'm like, I kind of don't care about this. Like I'd rather this than kind of anything else for your Dane. Okay. No, they had the spreading seed. Oh God. That's super unfortunate, man. They've had it at like the opportune times, both games. That was like our out too. Cause we got the construct. They, they got rid of the construct and a lantern. But they can't attack. All right. We're like, we need something. Oh man. And I don't want to attack because I, I almost like don't want to trade these four for this. We don't have anything in the graveyard either. I guess we should be milling our stuff. Oh, what a great draw. And if it's countered, we can always just get it back. I'm going to wait one more turn and then we get to lantern. Like I really want to be attacking with this, but if I trade this, which they'll definitely do, then I just have no threats. Oh my God, they're attacking. They draw damnation. Okay, whatever. Oh, actually I can just do this. Redirect it to spell skype. Ooh, look at that. Spell skype, baby. We got, we got them. They thought they were getting us. Uh, let's mill ourselves. No, Tron. All right, put Lantern on top. No, we milled Tron. Do they have another counter spell? Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye, Shieldred. All right, now they're pretty locked out. They're only going to be drawing fetches and stuff from now on. Except I don't know what their last card is. It's not a counter spell, so. But we'll draw the Saga. Just more threats. It could be a Spreading Seas. Would not surprise me. Let's see if they crack this. They didn't. All right, they'll draw a preordain, sure. I don't care about another Bowmasters. They put two to the bottom and drew subtlety. Um, I'll Pixis this. I don't really want Forge, I don't think. I don't want Needle either, right? All right, they crack their Misty. What's that? The word is Branch with the 41 months. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I figured try something, right? Karn, John Karn. I wish we had Lantern. I mean, uh, Tron online. And they have subtlety in hand, so it's like not even worth it to... I guess we can get start getting in. Oh no, stream title still Rhinos. Yeah, clearly I haven't uh, done in a bit. All right, I guess we'll pass. I don't want... They're going to end of turn... Oh, they didn't end of turn subtlety. All right, they can draw the Talisman. Oh, damnation. Talisman, sure. Don't, we don't need another Lantern. Match three, and we're on the play. Let's see. I think we're going to mulligan this hand. This hand doesn't really do anything. It has Cookbook into, like, high payoffs. And so I think we can mull this one. Uh, we'll, we'll keep this. The Sagas make me a little nervous because they're going to go away. But we have Lantern. We have all of this. Let's pitch. Let's see. They reveal Gigantha. I guess we'll pitch this member. If this is Tron, again, not, not the greatest matchup. Uh, it's Tron. Yeah, not too optimistic about this matchup here. Green Tron just kind of goes over the top of us. It's never been a good matchup for, like, prison mirrors or, or for, like, prison Tron mirrors or even lantern control. Gonna have to get super lucky, I think. Pixis. We'll play Saga. Like, tempted to... Like, Stirrings is a good draw for them. I guess we'll, we'll play out Spell Sky to use our mana. We don't know if, like, they have Tron land into Sylvan Scrying or not anyway. But again, not optimistic. They they go crack stirrings or crack uh, scrying. Either one's bad. All right, so they did have it. They crack for green stirrings. See if they find the tower. We need like they found star and they put they have a scrying, so we can mill that another star. Okay, so we're definitely gonna get rid of scrying here. Assuming, I mean, assuming they don't already have the tower in hand, but this guarantees the tower. The only way we can win is if we like turn three Tron into like Karn. All right, they'll pass. I did want to make constructs, but I guess we'll hold out on that. Another lantern. We don't really care about that. Play Pixis. We'll get rid of their scrying just in case. Karn. It stinks because we want our tower, but I think Karn is more of a uh, a problem, especially if they have the tower in hand. So we have to get rid of our own tower. Shredder's annoying, but our 
Worm Coil is annoying, but not game ending. And this is where us not having like any hand disruption really hurts. Not knowing. Okay, so they just had it. If they just go Karn, we're just going to scoop. There's no way to beat that. Like, we'd have to, uh, I guess, make Constructs, but a uh, Worm Coil, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we can't attack through this. We need Bridge, and we need to, I guess, keep them off KGC. Remull this. Uh, Mystic Forge. I guess we'll draw that because we... We can play it. So this is tough because like we don't want to needle. If they had Karn, they would have played it. So I'm not gonna get needle for Karn. Ugin, we can get rid of, I guess. Guess we just get a shredder here. And that's a dead draw. So we'll play out Mystic Forge here. We desperately need a bridge. So let's double Pixis or just Pixis. Power plant, we don't care about, I guess. And pass. So what sucks is that they have two redraws. So they can kind of get under our shredding relic. We don't care about. Hopefully they just start like cycling through. All right, they attack with Worm Coil. They play the power plant we knew. Again, as long as, oh, I mean, I guess O Stone's a thing. Yeah, we're just gonna scoop to that. Are they popping it? Yeah, okay, we'll scoop to that. I guess we could have needled O Stone. We didn't know that they had, did we know they had one? Was that the first thing they drew? Yeah, yeah, that was the first thing they drew. So maybe we needle O Stone instead of getting a Shredder. That's tough because then it's like, then they just redraw. It's, it's Again, it's a hard matchup, but we definitely could have needled O Stone to save some, have a chance. So against Tron, we'll bring in the Stone Brains. This is like a Karn matchup for sure. And I think that's a, yeah, I totally forgot about the uh, O Stone. All right, on the play again. Um, This is such an awkward hand. Like we have the Karns and the map, but only one Tron land. I think we'll mull. Like this, this hand really doesn't, like we have to get super lucky with a Tron land. I don't know. Do we try just because we have to get lucky? I guess we'll keep. We have to get lucky in this matchup. So I think maybe correct to just like going to six and maybe seeing like a mediocre six might be just as bad as this or as good as this. I'm going to tower map, tower star. But yeah, we'd love to see a Tron land here. All right, third map's not good. I'll pass. Right, they have the power plant. Do they have the scrying? Track star. Do they find the mine? Do they find Karn liberated? Which is also like not very beatable. We'll get a power plant here. And if they just go like mine car and we just lose to that also. Stone brain. All right, well, we have to play the map and get Tron online. But again, if they play the mine car, okay, yeah, we just lose. Unfortunate. Again, terrible matchup. And especially if they have turn three Tron every time, it's just, it's unbeatable. It's like unwinnable. We have to have turn three Tron with only maps, no scryings or, or anything, have Karn out. And all right, match four on the play. And I guess we'll keep this. It's it's like a little bit of everything. Nothing like incredible, but we can like draw into a lantern effect or Tron. If we draw a tower, we can go forge into everything, which would be nice. Mist caller. All right, so Merfolk. Again, you could argue milling yourself. Well, now I kind of wish I did, but it's hard to say with like we do have the academy, so you kind of want to be milling yourself, but you don't have to necessarily blind mill yourself. It's like not always 100% correct, but double mystic forge isn't what we want. Might just mill them. Tide Shaper. But that's an, uh, yeah, that's annoying because uh, I feel like they always have this against us. If you've seen my other videos, they always have like a thousand Tide Shapers. We can always just dismember it. Oh, we got rid of the dismember, which is nice for this false kite. Like if we draw a tower, Lantern of Insight. Okay. And play Lantern. Oh, and Towers on top. That's good. Aether Vial. I'm fine with have them having an Aether Vial. I mean, later in the game, right? I think that's fine. As long as they, I'd rather have them. Okay. So they have Land, Vial. Another land master, sure. And we can, I guess we're going to, uh, we're going to get Tron online. So we'll dismember this. So that way we get our power plant back. They can't force it. Okay, and they scoop. They see Tron online, so good scoop by them. Uh, this matchup, Merfolk. There's really nothing to, nothing I really want to bring in or take out. Like Spyglass hits Vile and Hexcatcher, whatever it's called. All of these can kind of, like Silex could maybe come in. Cookbook, Relic can come out. We'll try that. I'm just bringing more things for them to like have to counter. All right. So we have the two Tron lands, Spyglass. I guess we'll keep this. Maybe they go like Aether Vial on one. We can go Shredder into Spyglass. Like when you mulligan, they you rely heavily on Aether Vial. So that could be like a huge shutdown here. And who knows, maybe we could top deck the tower. All right, no turn one Aether Vial. We'll go Power Plant first, just in case they uh they go Tide Shaper. We have a second copy. Oh no, we milled an island. Don't want to mill their lands. Yeah, so if they go Tide Shaper here, we're fine with that. There you go, see? All calculated. So we'll go Mine. 
Uh, we have the dismember too. We'll go mine, just hide the power plant, and we'll go spyglass. They don't have an aether vial to name, so we might just name, like I said, the, the curse. Okay, they have the force. Oh, they do have an aether vial. They have another tide shaper as well. That's annoying. So they do have the force. They have the hex catcher. I guess we're just going to name the hex catcher. Oh, Dalian hex catcher. All right, so their hand is pretty disruptive here. Kind of annoying. So now they're just going to go tide shaper on the mine, it looks like. I guess milling the island was good. Because now they're stuck on... So I guess they're thinking if they should go, like, Hex Catcher for the buff. They didn't. Okay. So they're going to hit the mine. Sure, sure, sure. Hit for two. We draw Forge. So let's see. This, I don't mind doing this. This is going to draw out the Force. And if they do that, they have to pitch either the Hex Catcher or another blue card they drew. Okay. Nice. And that's why we put it in our deck. Just to, like be obnoxious like that we would love a bridge we would love i guess another land just any land to be honest all right they drew a land a vial that was the one card we knew about now they have one more card hopefully it's not a lord chalice on one interesting okay we can beat that they have no cards in hand all right well, there's a lord that we happily got rid of and spreading seas wow hitting needle hmm i'm gonna cast this just to get out of our hand here but we like desperately need a land i'm saving this this dismember it's hard to say, like, do you want to save it for a Lord? Or, like, you're going to be taking, like, four damage over the course of two turns just from one that you could have killed. They didn't play it pre-combat, so I'm just going to kill kill it. Like, we'll take two. Desperately need a land here. Lantern of Insight. Not what we wanted. Play it. I mean, you could argue holding it until we have Karn online. But this is just going to be too slow. We need to draw, like, a bridge ASAP. They could also have one drops in hand as well, but they can get them in with Aether Vial if they want. But they ticked it up, so now they can't. All right, do they have a Lord? They do. Going to hit for three here. We need to have a bridge, and they need to not have a uh, Force of Negation in hand. Mill Master, Master, or Master Merfolk. Yeah, we just lose. Yeah, whatever we play, they just kill us through it. But that sucked not hitting land drops. So hopefully we can do better this time. All right, on the play. <laughs> His hand. I mean, we're going to keep it. It's turn one, turn two. Like, maybe we get a mine or a... a uh... And plus, they have... What's it called to... I feel like... Oh, there's a map. Sweet. Okay. Turn three, Tron online. But we know they're going to have, like, eight high shapers in hand, like always. So they have an Ottawara and... All right, so not turn three, Tron, but maybe turn four. So play map. Tell me they forced this. But I really care if they forced it. Oh, wow. They forced pitching Kira. Well, they know that... We're drawing Saga, at least. I I don't know if I really care that much that they, like, they just two for one for, like, like, yeah, we don't get Tron online, but our deck doesn't rely too heavily on Tron. This is, like, totally fine with us. We're literally just going to be playing lands and making constructs, so we are A-OK -okay with that. As long as they don't have Tide Shaper. <laughs> if they have Tide Shaper and they kill our Saga, I'm going to be sad. Sad Panda. We haven't seen Tide Shaper yet. They take up Vile, they draw Glass Pool. So we know they have Ottawa. Another force here. Just really hoping they don't have Tide Shaper. Master. What's this going to be? Activate Mutable. Oh no, they activated the Summoning Sickness one. And they scoop. Oh no. Oh, that's that's terrible. That happens. It's it's weird. You have to like click and see which one's Summoning Sickness and which one's not. Or Summoning Sick. Uh, unfortunate for them. I think we were in a good spot anyway, but still. All right, final match. And all right, final match. And we have Turn 3 Tron with some stuff. So we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully folds the Ensnaring Bridge. That would be fantastic, right? As long as it's not Amulet. Shadow Spear. Okay, that folds to uh, Ensnaring Bridge. So what do we want? Like a Lantern? Forest and two. Okay, that's not the worst. Turn two, turn three plays at least. I'm going to mill them. I just want to see what they're on. Hmm. So this screams Blood Moon, which is sad. Daredevil. So food deck. Oh, I was really hoping they didn't have another lamb. All right, so this is a food deck. Shock that in for Asmo. Yep, okay. Just Asmo food. And they have the engine going. Unfortunately, they can kill our spell skite. Uh, play spell skite and make them do it, I guess. I don't want to mill them anymore because they are a graveyard deck. So they have double cookbook, so they're going to be making two food a turn. Luckily for us, like, this doesn't really do anything for us. All we have are, like, a spell skite. I guess we'll all, like, auto yield to that. The more time we can save against all this. So they're going to end up just killing spell skite and getting in for three, I guess. Oh, yeah, see? We don't want to mill them because of a uh, feasting troll king. I guess they'll just bring that back. The bridge looking really good here. I don't think they have an answer for, for bridge game one. So let's empty our hand. And they're going to be really sad about this. So we play both bridges and pass. So now nothing can attack. And yeah. Saga. Oh, if they have a main deck needle, that's going to be annoying. Steel. Okay. So they're going to be turning through their deck a lot. I'm going to have to like auto yield for all of this stuff though. I don't know if they have a main deck answer to bridge though. But we're going to, they're going to be doing a lot of things here. 
making a lot of game actions. All right, they can't attack. I mean, I guess like our only way to get them is to mill them at this point. So I guess we might as well. Karn would be the best draw. Power plan, play this, play out Spellskite. And we're playing this out too, just because, I mean, if they kill these, like uh, this can get in. But we know they're just going to kill that stuff, so who cares? Just main deck needle is what I'm worried about. But then, I mean, as long as we mill them a lot beforehand, and they're going to be, like, going through their deck a lot, so they're going to have a lot less cards than we do anyway. They put Fable to the yard. They're still playing, so I'm assuming they have an out. They have no cards in hand. All right, they kill Spellskite. They get him for one. So Karn's still best draw. It's going to mill them a little bit. Another Daredevil. And we draw another land. Not good. Because we... Yeah, we want to just get the no cards in hand. We also want to draw something relevant instead of just all lands. Okay, they make another contract. I'm just going to mill them twice before they get the search with us. Because we could always hit something they could get. Finale. Goose. Okay. And we'll just F6. Let's see what they get. Alright, they don't have a needle effect to main deck. And if they did, they didn't get it. They just got another cookbook. So one thing is that they can sack these cookbooks to go get things out of the graveyard, which is annoying. Though I'm not 100% sure what they could get besides like, so as long as we stay ahead on clock, I think we're safe. Okay, and they just scoop. Yeah, fair, fair. All right, so against the food deck, what do we want? Crypt's good for when we have Karn out. Bridge is good. Silex, I'm going to bring in Silex. That could be good. But I'm not sure what to take out if we do bring in... Mm. But I'm not sure what to take out if we do bring in Silex. I'm going to bring in a Welding Jar. We want Cookbook to empty our hand. I believe so. Needle names Cookbook which is relevant. So does Spyglass. This member kills Asmo. Welding Jar protects. Like, do we need Cookbook? I'll say no, and hopefully we don't get... I feel like the times I board it out, I want it. Uh, this hand... I don't like this hand. This hand, like, does nothing. Turn one, Shredder. Turn two, Spellskite. Hold up, Dismember. Like, we could do better, I think. This is not better. So no lands. Gonna maul this one. So one good thing about mulliganing as a bridge deck is you have fewer starting hand, fewer bleh, fewer starting cards in hand, which means you don't have to that you get empty handed quicker, more quickly. So I'm like half tempted to keep both bridges. How greedy or like how how dumb is that? Like they can't be bridge and bridge like we're gonna want to get bridge with Karn. So I'm gonna keep both bridges, especially if they have a uh, thoughtsies. Okay, they lead on Saga. Tower's a pretty good draw. Like, if we can just bang out Tron here, just, like, runner, runner, and then just empty our hand that way. It's interesting they started on Saga, because they're not going to be able to make Constructs, but maybe they want to get a cookbook immediately. All right, let's play out Island. I'm kind of saving these Sagas. It's probably... We should probably should just be playing them so we can get the, uh, like, Lantern or Shredder, to be honest. Yeah, we, we should have been playing these, because we're not going to necessarily be needing uh, the Construct tokens. Let's just go get a power plan here. You could argue holding just in case like you don't know what Tron land we're going to get. Auto yield. But we're going to play I guess Saga and then Bridge. So now it's tempting. I guess we're just going to play a Bridge here. If they have a, a something to get rid of it that's fine because we have Spell Sky and Protection for the next one. So like they're going to inevitably draw something to kill stuff. So like this is bait. They use their turn. It looks like they only have one land, but this is going to draw them into a bunch of land. Asmo into the yard, Finale into the yard. Did they find a land? Looks like there's... Okay, they did... Ooh, they played They played out the Boseju. That's an obvious card to worry about in like a green deck. Okay, so they already had a Finale. So Spellskite's pretty dead now. Get him for one. We also should have been playing this earlier so we can get a Needle for Cookbook, which is the uh, smart play. So we're one ring. Okay. I'm going to play out the other Saga. Again, just to... Get the third mood quick. We don't really care about the constructs because we have bridge. So play out ring. Cookbook's also important because it gives us life that we lose from the one ring. I don't know. We're not going to want to be really drawing cards anyway because we're behind on bridge. All right, so they have another cookbook. Sure. But yeah, imagine if we played this like turn one. That would have been the smarter play for needle. We might board in the other needle as well because they just get to, they have so much value here. But we're going to play at the other ensnaring bridge and spell skite. All right, return troll king. I'm assuming they have another Paseju to kill bridge. Uh, what's, you know, what's going to be awesome is if, oh no, another asthma. Okay, so this is what's going to be awesome. Well, now they're going to have two food anyway. I was going to say we can get needle for cookbook and then they will only have one food token, but they can, they're going to end up having two. Uh, another Paseju. Okay. Okay, this attack doesn't matter because they can't deal damage okay so we're going to float mana uh float mana and we drew another bridge which is cool we will get a pithing needle actually you know what we're gonna do we're just gonna name Boseju. we don't care about the cookbook if Boseju is their only way out we'll name Boseju. uh let's see play another bridge like yeah i guess they still have 
access to co their cookbooks, but play out a spell skite and then we'll just pass, I guess. Like it was obviously tempting to name cookbook here so they, they can't just cycle through their whole deck. I don't know how many other um, like destruction effects they have, but I guess we'll see. They might have like tear us under. All right, make a food token. It's like half what like half you don't want them to keep drawing with steel seeker. But then obviously you just want to protect your artifacts is the main thing. So they were doing all this at upkeep so that way they could uh, filter their draws. All right, they kill that, which is expected. Ren and six. And as long as, so we also name Boseju so that way they can't like Ren and six lock us. This is going to be annoying. We're going to have to, I guess, figure something out with this. They get in for one here. All right, they pass. Still not drawing with the ring yet. A little reluctant with no life gain. We draw a map. That's pretty good. We can go get Tron with that. Oh, we can get, is Relic too late? Relic? Hmm. Relic might be, they're going to have Tron online this turn. Do we want, like with Sages offline, they're making Saga Constructs. I feel like I don't want Jar. They have, we have three bridges already. Let's get Lantern. Well, that sucks because I do want to draw that. I guess it is what it is. We're going to go get the mine, get Tron online. Ring's pretty good. Play out third bridge and I guess pass. At least we can see like what we're going to draw with uh, the one ring. They're at 37 cards. I've seen like 10 more cards than us. So our best draws are like Karn. Karn is probably just our best draw. Karn or Forge. Yeah, they're just going going through all these. So many triggers. Finale. I guess they're going to draw Finale. There's nothing we can really do about it besides Pitching Lantern, which I don't really want to do. Not really sure how they get out of this. Finale for one. Get them. A Goose? Oh, Haywire Might. Forgot about Haywire Might. Obviously, they have like a bunch of these too. Oh no, they can Haywire Might. Oh, they're going to Haywire Might um, Pithing Needle. Oof, that's not good. No, we have a lock, but we're also doing nothing with the lock and they're just able to cycle through their deck. So now that now they can besage you something and get it back with Ren and Six. Yeah. All right. That's OK. We get rid of the one ring. We do get a basic. We get a tower. All right. And they bring it back. That's kind of annoying. Um, hmm. so we're going to draw the tower and do nothing. I guess we have to draw like this is just going to kill us. Spell Skite. Draw Spell Skite. Spyglass. That's a good one. All right. So we can Spyglass Poseidou again. Poseidou who endures. So what sucks is that we're going to be taking damage and we're just not going to win. So let's map here. We're going to end up like mapping for um playing fair. Oh no, we played the tower for turn. That's a, That was a mistake. Yeah, that was a mistake. Uh, we'll just play out Spell Skite. We don't have any way to protect it at this point. Any other way to shut it off because we don't have Needle. A third needle. Uh, that's that's frustrating though. So now they have to cycle through their whole deck. We get another turn. We're gonna go down some life. All right, they're floating mana here. Did they get? Okay, they have another haywire might. Yeah. I was gonna say they have a bunch, and then we're just gonna we have like no like we didn't draw any offensive threats like Karn. We've drawn all just all right. So the haywire might. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, you could even argue getting Academy. Well, no, we do have one in Staring Bridge, but if they exile it, we can't even get it back with Academy. But they are just Boseidoing it. Maybe Academy is the better. But they're going to just keep doing this and there's nothing we can do about it. But we could Academy. I guess we could. Well, no, because they exile all the uh, other effects. So fair. Hmm. All right. We just need to like draw Karn naturally, I think. I don't even know what Karn does right now. And we just lose to the ring anyway. Shredder. There's Karn. Karn just like shuts off all this stuff and we just haven't been able to draw it. Especially because they're at 19 and we still have the ring that's just going to kill us. Yeah, we just needed this way sooner because then they can't do all this stuff. They're already ha halfway through their deck because we didn't draw anything. Yeah, we need a lot though. We need bridge. We need a needle for Besejo. I think we need too much here. Just too much. I guess we'll bring in another needle effect because if we're going to be, if we're going to need it, we're going to like just need it quick. Um, take out a one ring. It's hard because like, I don't know, one ring and cookbook, maybe we need both of them. All right. I mean, we have needle spyglass. We have so much protection. They mulligan to six. So this is a game where I'm not going to lead on saga just because we have so many like plays and I'd like to, oh, maps good actually. Hopefully they go cookbook here. Oh, haywire might. Okay. So we're just going to, I guess, needle that. Well, let's see. Let's spyglass. Hopefully they don't have like Besaju in hand or something. They don't. Troll King, Saga. Okay. And they're drawing a land for turn while their hand's pretty awful. Haywire might. I mean, we're drawing Mystic Forge, which sucks, but it's whatever. Steel Shaped. That's a good one. Yeah, we're going to need to draw like actual lands. That is not good. Karn is... Ugh, that's things too, because Karn's like really good. Um, Yeah, we're just going to be so slow here. I guess we play out map. I'm going to set up for a turn. We have to get a land next turn. 
and then probably needle their cookbook that they get most likely or like needle Buseju. I don't know. Yeah, we'll probably needle Buseju. I don't know. This is this is awkward because Saga, Stomping Ground. So I guess they're just, just going to make constructs, try to get the beat down on. I don't know. Are they going to Fable here? That's what it looks like. They draw Fable. And we could always like upkeep this map, but I do want Karn. Do I want Karn? They're not doing anything now. You know what? I'm going to get rid of Karn. Get a power plant. And of course. Okay. We pitched that. Uh, Let's see. We can get the map for Tron land. So this is tough. We can get map for Tron land. I think that's what we're going to do. I don't like, obviously I want to like needle everything they have. I think the safest thing is for that. Oh, they have the, we have a relic coming as well. So we know this is like their hand. I'm just going to needle now underworld. And this is also a reason that we bought out our own cookbook because we're going to be naming it. And then it's just kind of like a dead because they have to naturally draw the Buseju for us to name it. They do get to draw to discard too, which is or discard. They're going to discard like Troll King and Land probably. All right, but that's scary that they still got it. Beseju. So next time we're going to play out Spell this guy. But now it's like, do we want this relic? What do they have? Oh, just hard cast. Okay. We don't want this relic then. We're going to crack map now. Get a tower. I mean, it's a land, I guess. Another. Okay. Oh, that's so awkward. So we don't really know their hand here. I'm just going to play this out as a blocker just to save some life. Next turn we'll have, they're drawing a land. <sighs> We have the bridge at least, and we have double protection for it next turn. After next turn, we should be safe. I mean, another hand is just like lands. Make a construct, sure. They just have all sagas. A block here, take five, go to ten. All right, draw the relic. Let's see, eight mana, three, seven, eight. Okay, cool. So we go spell sky and snaring bridge, relic, or yeah, relic them. It's not going to be too relevant. So now only haywire might can attack, and they, I don't think they have anything in hand. So they also pitch the steel seeker because they're not able to activate it. All right, they're going to get rid of this, unfortunately. That means they're not going to draw another land. I don't know what they're going to... Are they going to just keep making constructs just in case? So Besage off the top is good for them. Floating mana. Another Haywire Might. Another Saga. They shocked that in. That's scary. Is this another Daredevil? What is this? Oh, Troll King. Okay. They cast it. They get to make... All right, their hand is just like all lands. I don't think they can do anything anymore. All right, it sucks that we have to draw this Mystic Forge. All right, play double Mystic Forge. So now we're a little bit down on clock, so that way we have to... We do have double spell skite for Besaju protection, so that's something. And we have Inventors Fair to gain some life. Asmo, another land. All right, we draw the fair. Mine on top. I'll just pass. They draw Asmo, sure. What can Inventors Fair get us? Nothing that we don't already have. All right, we'll just get the mine. More mana, more things to play off the top. All right, we'll just yield through here. We could always exile this. I'm just worried about the clock a little bit. I don't mind having more mana. All right, I guess we'll take, we'll exile this one. Exile, exile. Three lands off the top. Par, and there we go. That's game. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, it's not game. Five, six, seven. Oh, we're one short. I'm just going to plus here. I guess we could play the one ring like a smart person. Again, I'm just worried on time. Like, yeah, we have, we're up a few seconds, but once we get portal next turn, nothing's going to matter. They play Steel Shaper, Steel Seeker. All right, they play that, sure. All right, portal time. This is, this is what we've been waiting for this whole league. Portal, portal, portal. All right, opponent's reading it. Now they just auto lose to this. So the reason that I want to be high on time is because we're going to end up having to mill them. And if we don't have the mill rocks, then we're screwed. They're tapping something. I mean, I, I don't know what they could have. I guess this lets them draw, kind of, in a weird way. Next Karn will get Ballista, I guess, and just shoot. All right, so they're just kind of cycling through their deck. They're helping us with the mill part, but uh, I guess they can hit Karn too. It's kind of annoying. Well, they did it at a weird turn, so I right, will discard so they can't even attack us. They have so many things to sacrifice, so it's not, it's more like we have the lock, so we can just like start, uh, no, we don't want that. All right, they're just making constructs to trigger their Steel Seekers. I guess they're looking for Beseju, but we have Spell Skite for that. All right, let's mill ourselves or exile ourselves with the mat. Okay, um, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna get rid of a Mystic Forge. They're down on clock, which is interesting. We gain a life. I might just play like the clock game, to be honest. If they're not gonna scoop, get rid of map. All right, they're making constructs. I don't know. They, they scooped early. They got two minutes to, or there were two minutes ahead. I guess they're... Looking for Ren's look at the card. If it's a land card, reveal it, put it in your hand. If you don't put it in your hand, put it in the graveyard. There's Ren. Finale. You know I'm stupid. I haven't been using Karn at all. God. I'm so concerned about the clock that I just haven't been using Karn, which is pretty absurd. That's totally on me. I'm just like 
so friggin' whatever, you know. All right, we gain a life. Let's let's use Karn like a smart person. Jesus. I mean, I guess this game should have been over because I should have just got ballista 10 years ago, but <laughs> sorry, guys. This this deck is just brain frying, as you guys know. I'm sure it's been like five minutes in and you're like, why Why is he not using Karn? Like, he's he has no idea what's going on. I mean, their clock's just wearing down anyway, but yeah, I'm stupid. All right, get ballista. Well, they scooped this. Like, come on. All right, they're just not even going to scoop to that. At the beginning, all right, I'm going to pitch a spell scape. Sure. Pitch a land. Put counters on Ballista. Imagine if I did this, like, earlier. I also should have seen what the top card of, of our deck is before doing that. Cookbook, sure. All right, pitch Relic. I'm just going to pitch this then, I guess. I guess they're just, they're just pay, like, F6-ing. All right, we have Lantern. Come on, dude. This game is just freezing. I'm not even going to tech up on Karn. <sighs> Pitch a Lantern. Oh, they have the Haywire Mites, too. Ugh. Are we just going to lose because of the Haywire Mites? Oh no, we are, aren't we? No, we're gonna lose the time because th this game's just... Yeah, that's... No. Pitching Pithy Needle. Could we have gotten stuff with Karn while we're doing all this stuff? I don't think we have enough time, to be honest. Yeah, I think we just lose because time. We were ahead of time and then it just was just so laggy and they had too many permanents. So in a real game, in a obviously paper magic, you win, but online, like you choose to play this and you have to deal with the consequences of that. We were playing pretty quickly too, but it didn't matter. Just our luck. Obviously, if we had gotten Ballista out sooner, like a smart person, we could have obviously played that way, way better. So that's on me. But. So we know the capability of a, if you play better, if like this is our first time trying out this iteration, I sweat at the clock too much, too much. Yeah. And we got punished for it. So Lantern Prison Tron, taking the best of both worlds, jamming them together. It felt like okay-ish. It was kind of awkward. Like you would assume that we drew either one half of like the Lantern part or the Tron part and it just kind of didn't pan out too, too well, but if you're able to get Tron out and do the Lantern things and then get the car and get the lock like we had, the deck works pretty well. Sadly, this wasn't the greatest showing, but enough reps. If you get enough reps and you kind of play through leagues a little more, things should go better. But overall, it's a fun deck. Definitely give it a try. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Peace.